Assassin's Creed Unity, which was released in 2014, had a rocky start, plagued by glitches and mobile device controversy. The team, on the other hand, worked tirelessly to bring the game up to par, making significant upgrades to the open world elements. Unfortunately, due to its poorly promoted launch, many of the positive aspects of Assassin's Creed Unity were neglected, such as the Parisian location and combat system. Unity designed a strategic sword fencing system that necessitates pinpoint accuracy and timing in order to create openings. Furthermore, the counter and parry mechanics are still the greatest in the series, allowing players to do techniques and finishes that are reminiscent of the Musketeers films. In 2013, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance was released for PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC. It's a prequel to Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots, that takes place after the events of that game. Metal Gear Rising, on the other hand, is a lightning-fast action game with some of the best sword combat systems ever seen in any generation, unlike the main series. You'll need to learn how to parry and deflect opposing assaults by hitting in the opposite direction of the attacker's swing, in addition to chopping and slicing. It's a lovely approach that takes some practice to understand, but is extremely rewarding to execute. When compared to games like Bushido Blade or Ghost of Tsushima, Devil May Cry V can feel a little repetitive. However, when you gain new skills for Dante and Nero, the game's fighting system expands. The sophisticated look and feel of the sword assaults and gunplay is evocative of action flicks like The Matrix and Blade. Furthermore, the addition of Virgil in the special edition gives the fighting system a new dynamic. Middle Earth Shadow of War is an action role playing game set in the Lord of the Rings universe that was released in 2017. It's a direct successor to Shadow of Mortar, and it keeps the same fluid combat system as its predecessor, with free flowing mechanics that let the protagonist Talion destroy several opponents. The gamma play elements are similar to those found in the Batman Arkham series, but with significantly more devastating techniques and finishes. It's a combat system that aims to make you feel like a formidable swordsman capable of slaying several adversaries at the same time. Dishonored was published in 2012, and despite its age, it remains one of the most inventive games available on any platform. It allows you to approach missions and eliminate targets how you see fit. Despite its concentration on stealth, Dishonored's combat system is surprisingly comprehensive and responsive. It's a game that rewards patience, which translates to the fights as well, since landing slick counters and blocking approaching assaults makes you feel like a ninja. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection, which was released in 2021, is a remastered collection of Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2, and Ninja Gaiden 3. Team Ninja created the Hack and Slash series, which is still one of the most difficult games on any platform. Battles take elegance, skill, and a lot of patience, because the fighting system is fluid and responsive. Although the games are challenging to learn, there is a sense of success in mastering the system. This is especially true of the game's several boss fights. Nio 2 is an action-adventure game developed by Teen Ninja that blends elements of Dark Souls and Teen Ninja's own Ninja Gaiden series. It was released in 2020, three years after the original. Ninja Gaiden is challenging and complex, yet the sword fighting system is unparalleled. In the Nio series, timing is everything, and you'll need to understand when to dodge attacks, parry them, and counter opponent attacks. Multiple postures that emphasize defense, attack strength, and speed are also important in the game's tactical but quick fighting system. Kingdom Come Deliverance is an open-world RPG set in Bulgaria during a struggle in the early 15th century that was released in 2018 for the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. Kingdom Come Deliverance is as close to a genuine medieval experience as you can get, with no wizards, dragons, or orcs to be found. 
This knowledge transfers to battle, as it is a system that demands timing and technique to deflect, protect, and even strike from all sides. What makes it even better is that the enemy's artificial intelligence is surprisingly intelligent and strives tirelessly to beat you. For Honor is an online 3D fighting game that was released in 2017 for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. It features knights, vikings, samurai, Wu Lin, highlanders, gladiators, and other warriors to see who would prevail in a fight. It's a wonderful fighting system with Mortal Kombat-style executions that's both tactical and vicious. The fighting system in For Honor needs you to consider placement and momentum just as much as deflecting punches, countering, and landing hits. Ghost of Tsushima, which was released in 2020 as one of the PlayStation 4's final big-budget exclusives, ensured that the platform ended on a high note with one of the most beautifully designed open-world games in a generation. This beauty was modified to match the PS5 port of Ghost of Tsushima, which came out in 2021. It also includes one of the most effective and user-friendly fighting systems on the list. Depending on the game's complexity level, it's simple to learn and challenging to master. You must grow faster and more reactive as the challenge level rises. Furthermore, it's a well-balanced system that lets you to perform one-hit kills in the style of Bushido Blade when the level is raised. At its core, Ghost of Tsushima is a power fantasy that allows you to assume the role of the land's most accomplished fighter. The exhilarating one-on-one -on -one duels provide gamers with a worthy challenge that is neither irritating nor dull.